What's going on YouTube? I just picked up this 8th gen Civic Si, which um, I've been eyeing up one of these cars for quite a while. And I've always wanted one of these ever since I was like younger. So I just picked this one up a week ago and I'm getting through the issues. And the, um, the stock head unit that I've pulled out of the car here was really messed up. There was some kind of like popping or crackling going on. Uh, half the time it would just shut itself off and then it would just start making these really loud like static popping noises and then like sometimes I would like bash on the thing and it would turn itself off and then eventually I just I got sick of it so I looked up um, on Amazon and I just found a really cheap um, Android kind of head unit I tell you guys the brand, but it's like some gibberish name and I think they're all just rebranded. There's, there's like a bunch of them, but I'll link to it in the uh, video description here. And so this is like a little bit of a kind of a shorter install video, not like the complete thing, but showing you guys how this thing goes in and then how um, it works. Because um, there's a whole lot of stuff to deal with, like the stock amplifier and static and harnesses. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I watched on YouTube, so hopefully this clarifies it all, um, wraps it up in one easy uh, video for you guys. All right, so this part's pretty easy. You just get the old head unit out, the factory one, and you gotta transfer all the controls, and then you gotta pop the vent out um, and mount everything in the back of here. But just showing you guys this part, because somebody actually smoked in my car. The last owner smoked in it, and it kind of smells gross, even though I had it detailed. So um, what I did was I just took a paintbrush, and some Dawn dish soap and just kind of like brushed everything and uh, sprayed out all the inside of the vent. So it's a good time to hit those since you got everything off. Uh, get rid of any kind of uh, shitty smells from the last owner. But this will go together pretty easy and then I'll show you guys how it looks when it's all clicked back into place in the car. So one thing I noticed about putting these screws back in for all these vents and stuff like that, you see the plastic here on this Chinese unit, it's kind of like pretty fragile like there's not a whole lot of bracing material in there here on the factory unit you see like pretty stiff right so you just want to be really careful when you're putting the screws in not to snap anything and all I did was um, I put the screw in and I had my screwdriver but then when I'm turning it in I'm just like holding the plastic behind here making sure it doesn't twist and snap off but it should be strong enough once everything's together just to hold it uh, in place. So these knobs here are a little bit tricky, but here's how I did it. I just used a razor blade and they just pry straight out. So I just got it started with the razor blade until I could get my screwdriver under there. And then I just worked it and popped it straight out. So that's how you get these two. And then all the screws behind, really straightforward. You just undo it all and it slips right off. All right, so here's a look at the back of the head unit. So the harness that came with the unit has actually um, just plugs into your factory harness with three connectors here and that's all you need to do i saw some videos that um, talk about this amp uh, trigger but um, it looks like this harness already has the uh, correct wire in so when i actually turned this on i just tested this um, it goes through the factory amp already. So it turns on the factory amp. Um, I didn't need to splice anything, which is great. And I didn't need to buy a special harness. Everything was included in the package. And it's not using the RCA. It's just, this is going straight into the um, power amp part of this uh, head unit, which is not the highest quality. You can see it's like pretty small back there but it's pushing it through the stock amp. So it's really just giving the signal. And I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your settings so your volume is okay. You don't get any kind of static and stuff. All right, guys, I got the install all finished up here. And I was really surprised how easy this whole thing went together. The fit and the finish is really good for the price. Um, I got this unit for 170 Canadian on Amazon and which is like 140 us and i saw some videos pumping this like i doing brand which looks i'll be honest it looks exactly the same the interface looks exactly the same it just looks like another chinese like android um head unit so this one works great um 
it's integrated so it's feeding directly into the factory amp and there's barely any static so if you're right now i'm in the garage and it's absolutely quiet the engine's not running and you can barely hear like the slightest slightest little background noise of a hiss but then once you're driving you'll never notice sound quality is totally acceptable for the price um it's just as good as your stock um, speaker system so if all you wanted to do was keep the uh, stock speakers and add like the tech um, definitely get this kit it's so uh, it brings a car like back into you know the um, modern times here um, some people are complaining that this cutout had some issues on some of the units that the buttons were sticking and mine was doing that too when i tightened down all the screws um, it's just flexing this plastic molding which isn't the most exact but all you have to do is just unscrew those four screws like half a turn and just let it loosen up a bit and then it'll kind of center itself and you can kind of shimmy it and then now all the buttons work perfect They're, they all pop up nothing seizes and it's it's still secure enough um to uh to hit everything knobs work hazard works everything works um it's great and then for 140 bucks this thing came with the like little gps chip um it came with like the um external mic which i have to clip on still and then it came with like a backup camera too which is like pretty awesome it works great um, i'm not going to key i'm not going to turn my accessory on because it's going to start beeping but yeah you flip it into reverse um there's already a wire for it in there and then i tapped in my reverse light so it just throws a screen on the second you flip it into reverse everything works great um yeah i was really worried because i read so many comments about the stock amp hissing and all this stuff it doesn't hiss so some people were also complaining that they lost the range in their volume so even at low volumes this thing was blasting um to get around that all you have to do is go into your just open up the player here and it's got some cheesy like preloaded songs um so you can see i'm on level one it's pretty quiet right and then that's perfectly normal and then you can turn it up turn it back down that's like perfect the volume knob's working great all you have to do is come into your equalizer um, yours might have a different user interface but you go into the equalizer and the idea is the same you just basically drag the entire range down to the bottom so it's like minus 10 and then you sort of listen to your speakers and then you start bringing up um, different areas of the range so it sounds uh, normal or it sounds good again i also had to drag the uh, subwoofer down quite a bit because it was like really pumping that stock sub and it sounded like shit so yeah that's all i did um this is another equalizer so i just kind of pulled the bass down but i got it working really well sounds great no issues with hissing uh static no issues with volume straight into the factory harness 140 bucks i'm super happy i do this again um i just try not to break as many clips next time so that this would sit a little bit more secure but yeah i'll drop the link in the description if you guys want to check it out but yeah totally a win for me because i didn't have to drop 400 or 500 american dollars on a chinese android head unit so more money for exhaust more money for mods coilovers whatever hope you guys enjoyed this um yeah catch you later